Okay, welcome back everybody. It's Mike Newton. It's our isolation swing tip series and it's another episode here. I'm going to talk a little bit about the shoulders, how the shoulders work through that downswing into impact. And if you are a golfer who swings over the top, this is going to make a lot of sense to you. So stay tuned. And we're going to help you out trying to reduce that over the top action. Just thinking a little bit about the shoulder movement. Okay, so swinging over the top, we hear that terminology so many times, we know that tends to relate to a big slice or sometimes some real big sort of pull shots, depending on what you do with that club face. So over the top, just to clarify exactly what we're sort of meaning by that, is as we get to the top of the swing, then as we start the downswing, we tend to see this sort of right shoulder get involved a little bit too much and we sort of throw the hands aggressively out that way. A lot of golfers I find through coaching sessions will try and throw the hands to the golf ball. Obviously that's what you're going to be hitting, everything sort of goes to that golf ball in that sort of format. So get to the top, we throw over the top of that plane line and obviously then the club has to strike it, it's got to swing heavily out to in. We then know what issues that can sort of create. So I'm going to give you a little drill here. Again, such a simple one to do at home while you have got the time to do this at home while you're self-isolating is just to basically get either a lime stick or just another club. I'm going to put it across your shoulders. I'm going to talk a little bit about how the shoulders work to then how that can potentially influence your swing direction and your swing path. So as we mentioned, we get to the top of the back swing. We've got our set posture position here and we're going to make a rotation to that backswing ideally staying in that posture so we can see we've got an angle of the shoulders here with that left shoulder pointing more sort of down sort of towards the golf ball in a way haven't we okay now as we would say got to the top there we swing more over the top what we tend to see is this right shoulder starts to work more around in a movement so what i mean by that is get to there we swing over the top Okay, it makes more of a round movement and they sort of flatten out. So if I stand this way, we've got that position there and then we go more that way. You can see we're in quite a level position but my shoulders are very open in relation to my target point, target in, at this point of the swing. So again, just do that from this direction up to the top and we'll make the downswing and sort of swing more over. So you get very open very early with the shoulders. We know the hips want to sort of be opening and rotating, but the shoulders don't. The shoulders want to be at an impact position, sort of square to target. Hips can open, but we don't want that shoulder coming over because then the handle of the club obviously gets out in front of us. Okay, so let's talk about what we should try to feel and what is a better movement to make to, to help us neutralize that swing direction. So again, as we get up to the top of that back swing, we want to have a feel this right shoulder comes more sort of down towards your right uh, your right foot so it comes more this way okay so you see that right shoulder comes more down the right shoulder comes down left shoulder comes up so you can see at this point of the swing again as we get that hip rotation working in you see the shoulders are quite square there okay work it from this position so top of the back swing there okay and then as we get the right shoulder coming more down to that right foot or that trail foot trail shoulder trail foot we can see we get into the, sort of that position so you can see the, the sort of tilt of the shoulders there is now more in that position okay so as opposed to going that way and you can see the shoulders are very very level we can see from there now as we get more down this way we can see the rotation the hips start to create that nice little bump okay and we start to get the right shoulders come down and underneath the chin in a way as we then swing through so if I give you a little visual then as what that does to the swing direction of the shaft and the, talking about the plane line. So top of the back swing, again that right shoulder comes over, we get level, okay, or we go more down and under. So you can see that keeps that club back that little bit longer, gets it more delivering in a square position here to then let it go into that follow through. So, very simple drill there, use a lime stick, use a club, do those sort of drills, maybe get yourself, either film yourself or get yourself in front of a patio door or window where you can get a little bit of a reflection, see how that visually looks as, as you're feeling it. Um, those two uh, situations of visual and feeling it are, are very strong, combine those together to get the right sort of movements. So if you suffer a little bit from over the top, those slices in there, 
definitely give this one a go. See what those shoulders are doing. See how it feels when you do it in that other direction that we've just talked about there. I feel that right shoulder comes more down and under as opposed to over and round. And that should hopefully help with your swing direction. Okay guys, very quick, simple tip for you there. Hope you enjoyed that. Comment in the section down below. And hopefully everybody's staying safe. I have got 20% uh, off my online lessons, which a lot of you guys are taking up. So I've got quite a lot of lessons to sort of get through at the moment. So lead time is around sort of three days to turn these lessons around for you now. So um, if you want to sort of get in, in on, on that and take advantage of the discount, then just visit my website, uh, www.michaelnewtongolf.co.uk. There's a link in the description down below also where you can purchase it and then I can give you some, email me and then I'll give you some instructions what I need you to sort of do. And hopefully and while you're at home, you can be working on your golf game. Okay, thanks so much for watching guys. Hopefully we'll catch you up tomorrow for another swing tip.